All right, the second type of fast we're gonna talk about here is the warrior fast. Hoo All right, who doesn't wanna be a warrior? So what is the warrior fast? And there's actually a book uh, written by a man. His name is Ori Hoffmeckler, and it's called The Warrior Diet. He was actually Israeli Special Forces. So he knows some things about war and fitness and the importance of physical conditioning on health. And the warrior diet is based off and inspired by the ancient Greek and Roman soldiers who would go fight and train all day long and return home for one evening meal. That's the basis of the warrior diet to eat one meal a day. And it was usually the evening meal, even though you could do lunch um, or breakfast, um, but evening meals, the traditional way people have done the warrior diet. And I just say, if these warriors, these huge fit men could fight and battle all day long without needing food, doesn't it seem a little surprising that we feel like we can't skip a meal or we have to eat every couple of hours or, you know, there's, there's, there's certainly things not right about our bodies um, if, if, if we feel like we have to eat all the time. So the cool thing about the warrior diet is if you're eating once a day, you're not thinking about food all the time. You're not worrying about where, oh, what am I going to eat for breakfast? What am I going to eat for lunch? Oh, I got to eat again. What am I going to do? You're spending time to go eat lunch. I mean, it can free up so much time and it can be so liberating only having to eat once a day. A lot of people already eat an evening meal with their family. Um, so this is a great way to just fast all day and eat an evening meal with your family. I love to do that. And then I'm at work and I'm just plugging along and getting stuff done and I'm not having to think about food. It's kind of nice. It resets your hormones. It gives a break from your body off of digestion. Um, there, it balances your blood sugars. Contrary to popular belief, there's this misunderstanding that we should be eating five, six, seven meals a day. That is crazy. That is horrible for our digestion. Um, that has our body constantly in a state of stress of trying to process all this food. And people say that that's a way to balance your blood sugars. That's like putting a Band-Aid on a blood sugar problem. If you actually want to heal your body and balance your blood sugars, you need to fast eat less, skip meals. That's what will actually reset your body and reset your metabolism. So the warrior diet's a way to do that. It's a type of intermittent fasting. A lot of us have heard that term intermittent fasting. So if you want to go deep into a fast and you want to go uh, for a long, long time, I know people who have done a, this type of fast. They might not have even called it that, but eating one meal a day or what we'd call the warrior fast, they did it for years as a way to live a fasted lifestyle. So who will benefit? I feel like this is uh, benefiting somebody who has a history of fasting somewhat. It's hard to start here. It does take discipline and self-control to only eat one meal a day because you might be feeling appetite. Um, it is very healing for the body and it's a good reset for the body and stabilize into the body. Um, it's really not healthy to just be eating you know, tendency, normal, typical situation where people are eating multiple meals throughout the day and snacking in between. That's about the worst thing you can do. So really the best people to benefit for this is uh, somebody who, who actually wants to lose weight, wants to reset their metabolism, wants to see hormonal benefits, wants to take stress and pressure off their body, but still eat and not go deep into like a water fast or something like that. So great plan. Uh, I think a lot of people could really benefit from this. Advantages. It's an amazing reset. It teaches us discipline and self-control. Um, you can do it all day long, but still enjoy that family, communal time, having a meal with a family or with friends, which is so important to a lot of people and to our culture, and that's perfectly fine. So I think that's a big advantage of that. Um, but it takes stress and burden off of your mind, off of your body, um, helps you to focus more during the day. Um, you might not believe it until you experience it. All right, disadvantages. If you have blood sugar issues or feel like you need to eat all the time, this could be challenging. And so what you might do is you might work into um, going down to two meals a day. 
So part of intermittent fasting would be where you eat lunch and dinner at six o'clock and then you skip breakfast and you don't eat till noon the next day. You just did an 18 hour fast. So you could do that. That'd be a way to transition into the warrior diet. Um, so start slow, work your way into it. Uh, if the process takes a few weeks, that's okay. Especially again, if you have blood sugar issues, you wanna be cautious, but you will be surprised. You will actually heal your body and heal your blood sugar problems, even severe blood sugar problems like diabetes, by doing this type of a lifestyle. Uh, another disadvantage is if, let's say you work and you're on the road a lot, you travel a lot, you're a missionary, you're going to people's houses all the time, people are inviting you over for meals all the time, you're going out to people for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. This can certainly be a challenge if you're having to go meet with people all the time and say, well, I'm sorry, I can't eat. I'm doing the warrior diet. <laughs> so again, that's up to you and your lifestyle, but that could possibly be a challenge um, if that's your lifestyle. So what to eat, what to eat on the warrior diet. The foods I have on the warrior diet, I just want you to understand are the exact same as a Daniel fast. The only difference is, is you would be allowed to eat clean, um, animal products. The warrior diet doesn't necessarily exclude animal products. Now, when it comes to cleansing, when it comes to fasting, I'm probably never going to recommend meat and dairy. But for the warrior diet, you certainly can do that, especially if you're only eating one meal a day. And in that one meal, you have some fish or you have some chicken or you have some turkey. Hallelujah. That's perfectly fine. Um, you're again, you're going to getting so many benefits to it. So um, I won't go over the whole thing in detail. Um, you could watch the Daniel Fast video, but just eat whole foods. Don't, when you eat in your one meal a day, don't eat processed foods, don't eat junk foods, don't eat sweets. I'd still encourage you to do um, kind of that sanctified lifestyle where you're not eating sweets and processed foods and junk foods, um, but really just fruits, veggies, greens, nuts and seeds, beans and legumes, whole grains. So we're talking about just really focusing on whole foods. And again, clean meats. Um, if you're going to eat meat, I, I definitely encourage Leviticus 11, clean versus unclean meats. God clearly lays it out there, uh, what's best for our bodies based off of his design. It's what he said because he's the designer. Beverages, water, of course, would be the best, but you could do juices, you could do teas. Uh, what to avoid I put um, sugars, artificial sweeteners, all processed foods, all fried foods, fast food, and any kind of beverage that's not water or fresh juice. The length of a fast. A warrior fast can be a lifestyle for many people. There's no predetermined date for this type of a fast. You might just try it a day and see how it goes for you. One day where you only eat one meal, might be a great place to start. Then you can work up three days, seven days, 10 days. Just play around with it. Uh, this would be a great, great program for somebody who wanna do an extended 40 day fast. Sanctify yourself to the Lord, do a warrior fast where you eat one meal a day, and maybe that one meal a day is like a Daniel fasted type of lifestyle. So you're eating one Daniel fast type of meal a day. That would be amazing. Again, that's a little bit deeper than a Daniel fast, but still, um, still eating enough so that where you could, you could work, you could exercise, you could still go about your daily life. And in fact, you'll probably feel so energetic and amazing. You'll be so encouraged um, that just eating one meal a day can free up so many energy reserves in your body, hot body or cold body. Um, if you're cold, Weak and thin, weakness and digestion. You want warm cooked food, steamed vegetables, hot tea. Try to heat and warm your body up. If you're hot and you wanna lose weight, go raw. Fruits, veggies, greens, juices, smoothies. The Warrior Diet's great for, for either type, whether you wanna eat cold uh, raw foods or warm cooked foods. Um, it, it's best probably for somebody who wants to eat a raw diet. So again, if, if you're overweight, 
you really want to lose weight, reset metabolism, maybe you want to heal something like diabetes or high blood pressure or whatever, one meal a day and make it just salad, uh, maybe with some beans and legumes and just have one good quality meal a day, uh, you'll absolutely meet your goals. It's an amazing uh, way to do it. Testimonial. Um, so in my testimonials, these are real people and so I make up names for them. So I call this guy Bob. <laughs> Uh, but Bob had a severe life-threatening case of meningitis. Um, it was ba so bad that once a month he would go to the emergency room and I mean this guy was married, had kids, didn't know if he was going to live or die. Every month this was happening. Um, every time he'd have to do antibiotics uh, just to make it through the episode. Well he had learned about fasting and he started water fasting during the day. So literally water only and one meal a day, um, evening meal with his family. And he would do that every day. Two years later, has not been back to the hospital, has not taken antibiotics. Okay, so we have these severe, sometimes life-threatening conditions that you know the doctors do their best to, to take care of or to treat with antibiotics or drugs or medications or whatever when the real power can be in healthy eating, intermittent fasting, eating one meal a day. Uh, again, the body's so amazing the way God designed it. All right, food for thought. Here's your food for thought. Consider researching what warriors and elite athletes do for health in their body. Study football players, study basketball players, the elite athletes. They really, really take care of their bodies and eat well. Are we temperate in all things? Are we competing well? Because we are called to be warriors for Christ. 1 Corinthians 9, 25 through 27. Everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore, I run thus not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body, and I bring it into subjection, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. I've referred to this scripture in the past as my personal torture scripture, because this one convicts me all the time, because I'm weak in the flesh. The spirit is willing, but yes, the flesh is weak. But the Lord calls us to practice self-control and to choose Him over fleshly temptations. I think the warrior fast is an amazing way to do this. You can still eat, nourish your body, function every day, but you can do it in a sanctified, healthy way. So try the warrior fast. If this speaks to your spirit, it might be a great way for you to do short-term successes or extended um, lifestyle type of fasting. Be a warrior.